What's good? What's good? What's good, everybody? We're getting ready to walk the floor. We're getting ready to rock it inside of the Philly Shell. All you guys know, we've been getting ready to release this South Pole Philly Shell status. Well, it's going down now. We're getting ready to walk the floor and show you how to execute rolling the hook right hand from the South Pole stance and from the conventional Philly Shell stance. So as we walk through, you will see that the guys are coming. You'll learn how to counterpunch. And be sure to just keep watching. Stay nice and tough. Bend at the knees once you're doing it. Composure is everything when it comes down to the Philly shell. See, a lot of people don't realize how composed you have to be whenever you're using it. It looks so cool and it looks so cute, but at the same time, you just have to have a maniacal drive to execute this. We do it inside of the box. We show you how to do it in the mitts and the spar mitts as well. And then we transfer it all into the ring. So as you see what they're doing, they're getting used to being inside of the pocket and where everything gets hotter than what it looks like when you're watching it on television, the reality is there's so many, many more layers to it. So we walk the floor and then we're gonna get ready to get inside of the box as we do it. What is the box? It's the four bags that we trap each other in so you can get used to pressure. So one of the key things that made Floyd so good at it is that he took the opportunity to use it against much lesser fighters whenever they were sparring so we can get the reps. Because when the punches come, they come a lot harder. So they'll, that'll cause you to come outside of your shell. So what we do is we crush it. Go ahead and walk it out. Let's get it. So what we do is we train you to get used to that pressure, that heat, those hard punches. That is king. So you all watch the guys. They'll come here. They'll come here. And then they'll come back home and then they'll make that pivot. That sets you up and gets, gets you used to tucking that chin all the way down. See the south ball. Boom. Good. Right foot and south ball. Now the coaches are out there. If you're doing it with the guys, it's a good way to get them that rhythm, that algorithm. But you must have consistent drills. Monday, Tuesday, today is Wednesday. So not only are we going to walk the floor, and then we're going to go into the into the box, then we're going to transfer it into ring simulation. Three tiers of that, and then we're going to go into fight mode, which is tier four. That's what we want you guys to learn. We have all of those things compiled inside of our Philly Shell Southpaw tutorial. It's loaded with everything. Everything's on sale on the website up to 50% starting today. So make sure you go out there, coaches and fighters, if you guys ready to get tight with your skill set, you know what we do. And you're getting the creme de la creme of all of the material that you need. My name is Coach Eric A. Bradley, and I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. We're about to give you some more of that funk from Master Boxing. Let's walk it out. Where you get your master's degree in boxing. Leave a comment. Where you from? Holler at your boy. The six-week training camp up to 50% this weekend. All of these different things are ready to roll. And we also have one big bundle, what we call the Champions Package, with everything on the website. Now that's a Christmas present for you. We're getting ready to get out and walk the floor. Stay tuned for more. We out. Peace.